Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. Last time we witnessed Mondo's execution. And we also learned like the motive behind what he did. It was essentially just a heat of the moment. Uh, Moshe's got the best of him thing and then he killed Chihiro. But because he made Chihiro a promise and didn't want Chihiro's secret to get out, he went out of his way to just change the crime scene and you know, just cover everything up. Not necessarily try to cover up what he did, just cover up the secret so that nobody would know. But they figured it out anyway, so yeah. Anyway, after that, we also saw that Monokuma was speaking with somebody in secret. Apparently, there's a traitor in our midst. And said traitor was asking Monokuma about a 16th student. But Monokuma would not answer that. And finally, Hina... Um, was feeling kind of down, so she decided to go and grab some late night donuts, but she heard a noise coming from the changing room to the sauna. And when she went in there, she saw Chihiro. We now return to the game, the morning after the conclusion of the second class trial. Everyone met up in the dining hall, just like always, and I expected it to start like any other day. That's what I expected, but... Today's count kind of sucks, huh? Togo and Byakuya still refuse to show up. And I haven't seen this Asahina anywhere. She said her stomach was hurting, so she's taking it easy in her room for today. Oh, That is rather unusual for her. Normally she is so full of energy. Which is exactly what makes me worry. So then... So it's just the seven of us then. It looks that way. How about that? It's times like this where the committee chairman needs to get things going with a bang. Yeah, he's um, he's uh, still kind of feeling the effects of Mondo's execution there. That that, that was his bro. That was his bro. Impossible. Or not. Taka hasn't said a word since everything that happened yesterday. One look at his face showed he hadn't slept a wink last night. It must be because of Mondo. Two of them became so close, and then he finds out Mondo killed Chihiro. And then, having to watch Mondo get punished and nothing he could do about it. I can't even imagine what it must have done to him. Well. So, I mean, what's gonna happen now? We haven't found any way out, and we have no idea if help's ever gonna come. <laughs> yeah. Now I'm all depressed just thinking about it. <laughs> we simply have to make the best of things, do our best to get along, and live here together in peace. Forget about the outside world and accept this new life. That is the only hope we have now. What? To live here forever? Well... Here we have every convenience. We have food, clothes, our every need is seen to. Why are you dissatisfied? I mean, she has a point. <sighs> In fact, let me ask you this. What is it about the outside world that you long for? Is that okay? Competition, discrimination, victimization, and violence? As society grows, so does its perversion. In which case, is our current situation not... <laughs> Demon Angel Pretty Pudgy... Princess! Huh? Hmm? Here we go! Maggie, the drill shop owner, the buddy eared Amazon, Cat Girl Dog Boy, Robo Justice the Galactic King, and... and... <laughs> what I mean is there's no 2D here! There, there's a freaking library dog. There is nothing to be done. The mastermind puts such base desire to their advantage, bending you to their will. You know? Okay, well anyway, since Taka's like catatonic, hmm. as the oldest one here, <laughs> I mean he is 21, I'm officially stepping up to take the lead. So, we're all gonna work together to spend the rest of the day searching the school. Searching? I'm right, well, I mean, right? since the class trial is over and all, perhaps there should be new places for us to investigate. Hmm. Yeah, that's the ticket. Maybe we'll find some kind of clue this time. Well then. Then once we're done eating, let's split up and begin looking around. Do you have any problem with that, Celeste? <laughs> hmm, there may well be a discovery waiting for us, which may further enrich our life here. Um... Here, no, the point is to look for clues. And just as we were starting to come together, she barged in and ruined the conversation. You called for me, so I appear. Genocide, and... You say ruin, but I prefer improve. And, uh, 
I, I, I can't really imitate the voice they give her without a sort of the uh, sort of sounding Monokuma esque. So I'll just try to go with her uh, Danganronpa a bridge thing voice, which was like a Cockney accent. I've been practicing. What? Ah, nobody called for you. Uh, um... What the? How come it's Genocide Jill and not Toko? You say that like it's a bad thing. Yes! Okay, in an effort to not utterly humiliate myself, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and go back to my little trance voice for Genocide Jill until, like, something better materializes in my head. God, this place is just amazing! Finally a place I can just be my murderous self. Which is why I've decided to stop holding back and spread my wings. No more hiding in the cave for me. Plus I have another battle to fight. The whole killer with a split personality thing is so overdone. I gotta destroy that stereotype. I'll fight all day and all night to murder those totally slanderous cliches. Uh, um... But you are a killer with a split personality. <laughs> if she weren't here, my chances of survival would go up at least 10%. Come on, you gotta back me up here. Even the biggest stars need the little people to hold them up. <laughs> no matter what I do, I will never be able to imitate that great laugh. Huh. Well, whatever else we do today, first we should eat. We can't do anything on an empty stomach. You're right. Let's hurry up and eat so we can start our investigation. <laughs> Jill is amused. You can't hate genocide, Jill. You just can't. So we were forced to eat breakfast with a murderer. <laughs> and after a much needed but very annoying meal, we set to work looking around the school. Oh, okay, well, all right, everybody left out. Yes, let's leave the area and go. I know I can teleport, but something else opened up on this floor too. Before we go to that, let's go to here. Oh, I thought it was going to say like, no, there's no time for gambling. I got to go explore. But all right. Uh, yeah, let's give it a shot. How many monocoins do I have? I know it's a lot. 153. Okay. Um, I'll go down to 100 or 60%, whatever comes first. Like a repeat chance of 60%. Oh, wow, right off the bat, something new. Oh, wow, I was not expecting to get to 60% that fast. All right, well, I'll just go down to 140 then and call it a day. I've, I was getting quite a few new things, and now by me talking, I have probably jinxed that. Also, I have not been getting lucky, like, extra items. I could have sworn I had one of those, or did I give it to somebody? Yeah, that, that makes more sense. And one more for good measure. Okay, well that's a repeat. All right, one more for good luck. Oh, okay, no, I wanna end on a new one. One more because fuck EA. Seriously, the microtransactions for Battlefront 2. Come on, dog. Why y'all gotta be like that? Oh my God, uh, who else had microtransactions? One more because screw Shadow of Mordor. Are you serious, though? Um, uh, uh, one more because Ass Creed is not good? <laughs> well, no, they, they kind of took out the uh, whole microtransaction thing. Oh my freaking lord. Uh, one more because mobile games are pretty bad. Well, aside from a couple that I can think of. Is that new? Jesus, um, 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 I'm running out of things. One more because, uh, Sonic Forces was disappointing. That doesn't even make sense. <laughs> oh, for the love of God. Uh, one more to celebrate me finally buying Cuphead. <laughs> Thank you. All right, we're good. <laughs> that was awful. It's like the moment I start talking, okay, here's every repeat in the world. It's gonna take me a minute to figure out which ones are new, actually. Okay, 
Ration, a set of canned and vacuum sealed foodstuffs. The taste isn't bad, and certain snakes that enjoy hide and go seek are just crazy about it. <laughs> Metal Gear reference, yes! Okay, I love it. Ooh, overflowing lunchbox. A lunchbox stuffed with rice, ginger, carrots, peppers, mushrooms, and more. It's meat free, so you vegetarians out there are covered too. Aside from the mushrooms, that does sound pretty appetizing. God, I am hungry now. Okay, let me get away from that. I can't remember if bird seed was one I got or not. Sprinkle this around, watch the birds come flocking. There's none to stop you from eating it too, I suppose. That sounds familiar. Yeah. Ooh, everlasting bracelet. A handcrafted item made with needle and thread. They say that once you put it on, it will never come off again. Why would you even wear it then? Fresh bindings, strips of cotton cloth. They were once commonly used for underwear and bandages. They say when you wrap it around yourself, both body and soul become taut. This is another one where I don't really remember if it's new or not. But, you know, just in case, go on the airplane. A golden sculpture said to rip, reprint. Uh, let's just ignore that typo right there. A plane or spaceship it was found in ruins in Colombia, dated to around 1000 CE, indicating to some that this represents an upart. They know Columbia was big on like ancient history and stuff. The fun plane. <laughs> this is <laughs> the fun plane. It is so totally not a Nintendo Switch. It isn't because the Switch came out after. Is that supposed to be a Vita? <laughs> I, I don't know, our Game Boy Advance Micro. Uh, the newest popular portable game system has a high def touch screen. Oh, that's okay. So then uh, the bottom screen of a DS <laughs> and can also play music and videos, making for the perfect all-in-one media machine. Unfortunately, the ultimate programmer is dead. So that, you know, you know. Maybe, maybe somebody else would appreciate that. Maybe, maybe the nerd, I don't know. Pagan Dancer, a mature game designed for the fun plane, which allows you to become a massive god, handing out divine punishment to puny mortals. Good luck finding a copy. So that's, oh my God, that actually is, um, oh, what, what, what is the game? Holy Invasion of Privacy, Batman. What have I done to deserve this, my lord? That That is the actual game's name, and it was a, a PSP game, and you were essentially playing like an angry god, and yeah, it, it was it was sort of like a Lemmings type puzzle game, but it, it was still pretty cool, and it's rare as all hell too. Plus, I think um, because um, DC had a stick up their butt, they were like, "Oh no, you gotta change the title." So it was just shortened to "What Have I Done to Deserve This, My Lord?" But I prefer the original title, "Holy Invasion of Privacy, Batman." What have I done to deserve this, My Lord? Okay. Could have sworn I had one of these. Made in sandbag, available only at Poshman Row, which is geared toward female fanfic fans. Please, please take me with you next time you go. Ancient tour tickets. Two tickets that advertise a whirlwind tour of Moo with the ancients for four days and three nights. I need to take pictures of the like, things I get from the model model machine just to make sure I'm not repeating myself. Part of me feels I might have missed something or repeated something, but at whatever it is what it is. And we have the Crazy Diamond. Proof that you clear chapter two. It's Mondo's old trench coat, which has the name of the country's greatest biker gang leader embroidered on it. Yes, because he was the leader of the Crazy Diamonds. All right, so that's it for that. Let's, let's go. Got some nice new gifts, but I'm kind of confused on what to give people. And oh, would you look at this? The, um... Map, yeah, nurse's office is open. Ah, it's open. So I guess now we can go in here too. Oh, wow, okay. I figured somebody would be in here, but I guess not. It's a normal trash can. There's nothing inside, so I don't really need to spend any more time thinking about it. Okay, well, we got this right here. A refrigerator. They must use it to keep drugs and stuff cold. This was an enlightening visit. Like, holy crap. Wow, what kind of monitor is this? Who would even make this kind of thing? There's Monokumako written across it. I guess they're 
covered all the details. Oh, I, I forgot his flavor text on the cameras and monitors changes every now and then. Even now the mastermind's probably inside that camera. Somebody puts me on the edge, but something I can really do about it. Okay, so, uh, great investigation. We, we learned a lot by going into the nurse's office. Oh God, you, what? Nothing's changed on this floor. Hmm. The only difference is the gate blocking the stairs leading up to the third floor is gone. I guess that's where they want us to head next. Wonder what kind of crazy stuff is up there. Okay, just looking to make sure I know where the steps are. There we go, okay. Third floor time, what will we find? The third floor of Hope's Peak Academy. I wonder what we're gonna find this time. What's up here? All right, check the map. Wow, the classrooms are right here? Oh, oh, okay. Cool. Well, let's check this one first. Hmm, Despair Squadron Monokuma. I can dig it. All right. So in the the windows up here are also barred with metal plates. Not surprising, I suppose. So escape still looks impossible. But I'd better check all the other metal plates again, just to be sure. Wait, 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 let me just check. Yep, them speed metal plates. Uh, nothing new to really examine in here, unless the flavor text changed. Time this doesn't really help me at all, yeah. I guess I could look for mana coins, but I have over a hundred. So, um, yeah, we'll just leave. Hey, well, that was that classroom. What's in this one? Getting tired of this. Hmm. And yet yeah, nothing else to really examine in here. Like I said, I'm not too stressed about monocoins, so yeah. All right, well, new area. Ooh, this looks nice. Why couldn't this have been one of the first places to open up? Hmm, so this is a recreation room, a place for students to come and relax. Never would imagine a school having a place like this. <laughs> well, no normal school would. It has Othello, Shogi, even a dartboard and a pool table. And look at this. They have even provided us with a remarkable number of magazines. Isn't it wonderful? Those will certainly be helpful in keeping our boredom at bay. Listen up! Ring, ring, ring! Hello there! Allow me to expound! We've got fashion, motorcycles, martial arts, video games, baseball, science, all kinds of magazines! Oh, but nothing dirty! This is school after all. You need a quick fix. Check out the swimsuit mags. So and will you be adding to our collection as new issues come out? Too bad. Sorry, no can do. Even if I wanted to right now, magazines are kinda... Kinda what? Oops. Nothing. Never mind. No, no, no. Anyway, that's it for my expoundation. Bye bye. What he just said. I know, right? It bothers me too. Most Life here would be that much nicer if he could add some new issues once in a while. How disappointing. R really? Hey, she's focused on, you know, trying to make the best out of a bad situation. She don't want to kill her friends or see her friends kill each other. Come on now. It's a beat up old locker. Doesn't seem especially important right now, so I don't need to open it. Also, I mean, I guess Monokuma wanted to say that, you know, like it's 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 the new millennium magazines. They're not really doing too hot right now. It's all about the internet, fam. This is like some kind of bottle, but what the heck is it? Maybe it's just for decoration or something. Oh my God, a lot of things to look at. Oh, oh, oh no, all right. There are all different kinds of magazines here on the shelf. They even have a bunch of monthly comics, but without getting regular updates, what's the point? A firm looking leather couch. It looks pretty comfortable. Okay, nice observations there, Makoto. Copy of Othello here, but I'm pretty bad at it though. Like if he's bad at it, then I'm just like absolute garbage. I never did know how to play Othello. Wait, what, what do you say for that? That looked like new. Table here. Oh, time to celebrate a desk in the classroom, but also kind of not. The table was something you could actually. Okay. 
There's even a dartboard. Did Monokuma put this here or was it always part of the school? Oh, multiple monocoins. All right, cool. A pool table isn't normal school equipment. Well, I mean, there's like multiple pool tables at my university. But to be fair, this is a high school, so okay. Is this thanks to Monokuma or did the school buy it? And then camera, monitor, door. All right, let's talk to Celeste. There is nothing to be it done. is rather unfortunate about the magazines, but still, <laughs> I do believe our lives will improve significantly thanks to this little hideaway. All right, she's optimistic. And yeah, recreation is good. Maybe if we had some recreation before, like these killings wouldn't have happened. Well, no, Sa Sayaka was kind of already off the deep end and uh, Mondo, that was just a heat of the moment thing. Plus, you know, Monokuma, he's, he's gonna throw another motive at us because that's just how he rolls. So the third floor opened up this time. After a brief investigation, it looks like there's a physics lab and an art room. I also found a huge mis yeah, machine of some kind in the physics lab. I wonder what it does. Okay, well, let's go check it out. Coming up on the art room first, just checking to see if there was anybody in the area. Yep, this is an art room, all right. At first glance, this looks like any normal art room, but something about it seems off, or multiple somethings. Hmm? What? Oh, you must mean this bust right here. Yeah, yeah, that doesn't belong there. Now this is just beautiful right here, like just, just amazing. Oh yeah, you know, the cybernetic soldier right there, you know, that, that was Michelangelo's greatest sculpture. Did, did, did he even sculpt? I'm gonna piss off the, <laughs> the art majors that watch this. Oh well, let, let's talk to Fat Boy. Yeah, he's, he, he's an artist. You know, he appreciates the 2D. Let's see what he thinks about this place. Well, well, look at all this equipment. It certainly scratches that artistic itch of mine. Art supplies, of course, but they've also collected all kinds of sculpting tools. So, Ifumi, do you like sculptures and figurines and stuff? Yes, indeed. Well, normally I limit myself to 2D, but figurines are like borderline 2D, so it's okay. No, no, no figurines are 3D, fam. I don't know how that's borderline, but okay. <laughs> I'm a fan of Chirambo, Pumpkinhead, and I especially admire anything that Saburo Ronpangi makes. I don't know if those are real. Chirambo's ability to express the movement of muscles is exquisite, as seen in his Mama Cat series. Pumpkinhead is like a little sculptor fairy representing this century's greatest quality. Saburo Ronpangi, meanwhile, is known for his Mecha Musume series, which led to a worldwide tour. <laughs> Truly, they can come Oh my god. Truly, they can only be regarded as the Elite Four. But one of your Elite is missing. Well, the Elite Three just sounds stupid now, doesn't it? Are y'all taking a stab at Pokemon there? Yes, indeed. Besides, that empty seat rightly belongs to me. <laughs> <laughs> it begins. Today begins my reign as the legendary ruler of the next century. I see. Well, good luck with that. Got anything else to say, fat boy? <laughs> Look at all the equipment. Scope of tools begins today. Moraine. Okay, yeah, nobody cares. All right, let's examine all this beautiful artwork. This is a statue of Neo. I've never heard of anyone using a Neo statue for life drawing classes or whatever. Oh, of course, we can't examine the other sculptures, the less important ones. It's a locker, but it doesn't seem like there's anything inside. Okay. Well, monitor, all right, Venus, how's it going? It's a Venus statue. Yep, definitely very art roomish. No, somebody was painting it. No, no, yeah, no. There's multiple, oh, is that the art board in the back? Oh, okay. There are paintings lining the wall. Is this really art? Just looks like a bunch of crappy graffiti to me. Somebody's not woke on the art scene. Okay, let, let, let's examine this beautiful thing right here. Is this a statue of Monokuma? Who would ever want to make something like this? Makoto, you just really don't know how to appreciate fine art now, do you? Still, the quality is surprising. 
Hey, we got a monocoin for it. Uh, mon 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 coin for it. Okay. Door in the back. Hmm. This is the repository that's attached to the art room. It's used to store different artsy things. Okay, well, yeah, let's see what we got over here. Oh, we got a little pallet. A dolly. Uh, fine, if you want to get technical. They must use it to move all these statues around. Okay, and then, yeah, we got the monitor right there. We got this. There are wooden mallets hanging on the wall. If I had to guess, I'd say they use them for making sculptures. Okay, and anything over here? Mm, uh, more sculptures over here. And oh, wait, what's this? There's something on the floor. It looks like a picture. But then I stretched out my hand to pick it up. It was as if on its own, my hand froze. Huh? Yeah, those, um, those are some dead people, all right. What's really going on here? What I saw in that picture was Chihiro, Leon, and Mondo. And they were smiling. What is this? Questions started racing through my head, one after the other. Why is it only these three people? What are they doing together? How come they're smiling like that? When was it taken? Who took it? Where's the camera they used? How did they get it developed? And in the picture, the window in the classroom. There's no metal plate covering it. Which must mean wherever this picture was taken, it wasn't here at Hope's Peak? But there was no time for me to find an answer. All the questions flowing around my head were quickly drowned out by... That's mine! Give it back! Monokuma appeared out of nowhere and snatched a photo, and any chance I had to answer is evaporated. Ha! You peeked, didn't you? Well, they all had some pretty dazzling smiles, huh? Isn't that they were wonderful? definitely living their school life. It's like they ripped a page right out of the Book of Youth. What's going on with that picture? Do you know? <laughs> I'm not telling you nothing. Double negative, that means you're going to tell me something. Oh, he, he left, okay. Why can't you give me a straight answer? Never mind. I don't even know why I bothered asking. Hmm. But to be fair, this is the art room, so they, they probably photoshopped that. Yeah, you know, yeah, Photoshop. You can do amazing things with Photoshop, even though there were no computers in there whatsoever, but hey, you know, Photoshop. Yeah, Photoshop. Yeah. Okay, so then we got, oh, the fourth floor is blocked off. All right, fair enough. Well, let's go to the physics lab. <sighs> I hate physics. It was not a fun class for me. Yep, science is being done in here. This is the physics lab. It's less like a classroom, more like some kind of research institute. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Hey, Taka, do you think this place is like some kind of research institute? Still no reaction. Okay. All right. I'll, I'll give you some time. I'll give you some time. All right, so what do we have right here? This machine obviously has some kind of purpose, but I don't know anything about physics to begin with, so I wouldn't have a clue where to start with this. And then, you know, the elephant in the room, this small camera. Oh, this is, it's a digital camera. It's got some kind of weird anime style design on it. It's kind of beat up, but it looks like it still turns on just fine. Yep, it still works. I should show the others later. All right, yes, yes, mm -hmm, yes, quite, 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 quite. Um, fine. What's up with this ridiculously big machine? Watch out! Watch out! Oh, well, I mean, no, no need for me to say it. He said it himself. What? What? You want to do some quantum leaping? Huh? That's a time machine. Pretty awesome, right? It was designed by a student right here at Hope's Peak. Ultimate physicist. Although they don't go here anymore, they died during the tragedy. A time machine? Seriously? So it it can go back in time? Okay then, let me get in there. If I can go back to the past, then I can. This time I'll stop Mondo for sure. Oh, sorry, not possible. This particular time machine can only go back one minute. 
It comes in handy when you, like, leave your pizza bagels in the microwave one minute too long. <laughs> one minute! <laughs> you sound disappointed! But actually, I was lying about the whole thing anyway. There's no such thing as time machines. What? Honestly, it's just an air purifier. Air purifier? It can produce clean air no matter where you're at. With that thing, you can live on Mars. But what with the discompopulating gravity and deadly low temperatures, you probably don't want to live on Mars. Anyway, this machine is the reason you guys have all this delicious air. So don't go messing with it. You break it, and it's your butt. This huge thing is just an air purifier? And more than that, to go out of your way to say something you know will hurt someone who's already suffering. God damn you! And of course we get a modern coin off of that. Alright. Oh, there was something down here he could Oh, from the angle I was looking at, it's just the door. Alright, well, you, you feeling better, little buddy? Hey, Taka, do you think this place... Oh, okay. Well, that was messed up of Monokuma. <laughs> yeah, Monokuma gets, like, exponentially more evil in, like, from this chapter onward. <laughs> he just did that just to mess with him. Like, hey, with this, you can go back in time. Like, oh my god, I can stop Mondo from killing Chihiro. Like, uh, well, no, it only takes you back one minute. One minute? Actually, I'm just lying about the whole thing in general. Haha, <laughs> fuck you. All right, they must use this for physics experiments and stuff. There's materials, pulleys, steel plates, magnets, and all kinds of stuff I don't even recognize. Yep, sounds like a physics lab to me. I had no clue what the hell was going on. Alright, and, uh, and here we go. Oh, hello. This is the equipment room. Super disorganized and there's a strange chemical smell in the air. Ah, this place is so relaxing, so calming. The smell of our mount height is almost unbearable. It's so tempting. I just want to dunk myself right in it. Of course, Genocide Jack likes it. it. Just goes to show how disgusting it really is. Hmm. I discovered lots of stuff and it was all strange, but I don't know if any of it was an actual clue. I'm just getting more confused. I should head to the dining hall and talk about it with everyone else. Can no, but examine here and talk to Jill. No, no, don't go back to the dining hall. Stay here and examine. Okay, fine. I didn't want to find extra mono coins anyway. When I got back to the dining hall, the first thing I noticed was... Uh, Hina? I tried to talk to her, but my voice was immediately drowned out by the others as they rushed into the dining hall. Hina. Hina. Huh? huh? I thought she was sick or something. Everyone rushed past me and crowded around Hina. Being surrounded by everyone like that, Hina looked really uncomfortable. Hina. Are you feeling better already? <laughs> yeah, I ate a few donuts and that really helped a lot. You do love those donuts. What's wrong with loving donuts, man? Come on. Donuts are amazing. But wasn't it your stomach that was hurting? Well, well my stomach ache kind of made me hungry, so, you know. <laughs> er, <laughs> I guess my memory's kind of fuzzy lately. Mm. They say that a goldfish will eat however much food you give it, even if it's about to burst. Miss mm. Asina's pretty much the same, mm. it looks like. Just a second. Hey, you of all people don't have any room to talk. Well. Anyway, I was worried about you. Sorry. S sorry. Besides that, you... Huh? huh? <laughs> Jeez, your knockers are huge! What the heck? Did you convince them to double up on milk production? Bastard! <laughs> Stay away from her, fiend. Uh, um... Anyway... First things first, right? We should talk about what we found, right, Taka? <laughs> right. Okay, so, um... Yeah. <laughs> Things are kind of snowballing downhill pretty fast. It's no use! Hmm. Oh, I just remembered. I saw Biaki a little while ago. What? Where? Where was he? Oh god, I butchered my throat on that one. <laughs> You're kind of scaring me. Where was he? He was in the locker room. He had a huge stack of books he must have got from the library. No, 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 no. So that's where he was hiding. I won't let him get away from me. <laughs> huh? She just ran off. Is is she okay? <laughs> we should not concern ourselves with her. 
Somebody wants revenge for the trial. All right, what's going on, Kyao Kyao? There was a rather remarkable physics lab on the third floor. In the middle of the room, there was a machine bigger than anything I'd ever seen before. Oh yeah, apparently it's an air purifier. Huh? huh? What's something like that doing here? Well, I mean, if you're sealed in and, you know, the windows and doors are, like, barred shut with metal plates covering them, you kind of need an air purifier. Otherwise, bad things will happen. You're just going to keep breathing in the carbon dioxide you expel and breathing in other people's germs, and then you get sick, and it's not good. Plus, things will begin to smell, so yeah. Is the device really that big? I really don't get it. Thank you, Taka. All right, what was really going on, Hina? Um, I wasn't able to help much with the investigation, but I did make one discovery. Could it, be? it didn't have to be a donut-related discovery, did it? What does that even mean? Right. Never mind, it's about the nurse's office. Remember the one on the first floor, right? Well, I remember, but it's locked. Yeah. Actually, not anymore. So then. Did you find a protein in there? <laughs> oh, any protein in there, or even vitamin supplements would be fine. Mm. I did look, but no dice. Just a bunch of headache medicine and over-the-counter stuff. I see. I see. That's disappointing. Aww. Yeah, Sakura cares about the gains. It is disappointing. Like, the end of the world is already here. I'm not sure it's that disappointing. Hmm. You have Fat Boy off to the side, barely visible. Let's talk to Sakura. I searched the entire third floor, but all the windows in the halls and the rooms are blocked off. I wish they'd give this a rest already. I'm serious, give me back my bright blue skies. <laughs> Just forget about it. Impossible. You make it sound like I dropped a nickel or something. Huh. Hey, i would be distraught if I dropped a nickel, okay? That's still money. Just to be sure, I went from one end to the other, testing each metal plate. None of them budged. So in the it end. would seem escape via the third floor is as impossible as we feared. I see. All right, and then Fatty McFat Fat. Mm -hmm. There was an art room on the third floor, and it had all kinds of gear. <laughs> now I'll be able to recreate all my favorite anime characters! Oh yeah, speaking of anime, it reminds me. I found something while I was looking around. Perhaps. Hmm? A digital camera? Digital style? Oh, no. This is... Uh, that. That's what it seems like. Hmm. Does it still work? Yeah, it seems fine. You know? Well then, let's see it. What the heck? What the heck? This thing is like a kid's toy. It looks like it can store, like, five pictures, maybe? It doesn't have a timer or anything. Well... On top of that, its appearance seems questionable. Is this some kind of anime character? Strange. No, no. Rude! She's not strange, she's Princess Pickles from Demon Angel Pretty Pudgy Princess. Oh, you recognize this, Hifumi? <laughs> of course I recognize it. The super rare prize I was given away at a bingo contest at a big anime convention. You have any idea how much I had to pay that guy to get my hands on it? Yeah. Wait, that's my camera! What? Damnation. Where did you find it? In the physics lab. It's my most prized possession. I brought it here with me, but I lost it the first day, along with my phone. Let's see. Why would it have reappeared in the physics lab? However... Ah, but look at it. What? It got all messed up. Like, when someone steals a sticker from your collection or you buy a second-hand shirt. Well, that's it. Huh? That's it. It's not mint condition. I don't need it anymore. But were you just saying how much it meant to you? <laughs> then may I have it? I might be able to find some sort of use for it. If any of you would like to borrow it, please feel free to ask. Well, I can't really imagine any of us are going to need to take any pictures or whatever. Yeah, true. Who's who's left to talk to? I talked to everybody. Um, Kyoko, you got anything new? Yeah, she's confused about the air purifier. Henny, you got something else to share? Get to nerf cells. There's no protein or supplements or anything. Too bad. Weedy. Could it be? Yeah, I totally screwed Biakio over. I think Biakio knew exactly what he was doing. Probably went to the boys' locker room specifically so she couldn't bother him. Sakura. Third hmm. floor. So in the end. Oh wait, but I didn't see if he had anything else to say beyond anime characters. Mm -hmm. uh, there's an art room on third floor, everything in there. We're free to create all the anime characters I want. If I can't watch all the anime, then I'll make all the anime. <laughs> I will hold on to the digital camera. 
If any of you would like to borrow it, please feel free to ask. What? Who? Oh god, I'd never even talked to Celeste. She was... <laughs> Sakura was blocking her. I never even put two and two together. Like, why is Celeste talking and I can't see her? Oh, she was behind Sakura. <laughs> there is one piece of good news. There just happens to be a rec room up on the third floor. I have no doubt that our student life here will be even more enjoyable because of it. <laughs> will someone join me in a game of Othello sometime? Okay, I've heard what everyone else has to say. So now it's my turn. Hey, um, can I tell you guys something? I found something that's kind of been bothering me. What? What is it? I found this weird picture in the repository. Apparently Monokuma took it. A weird picture? You mean like... Dirty? No, not that kind of weird. It was a picture of Leon, Mondo, and Chihiro all together. Why? Those three. And the three of them were... laughing. It showed the three of them together laughing? When could it have been taken? And there's more. In the picture, there weren't any metal sheets covering the windows. Well then. Then the picture wasn't taken here. Let's see. But I don't recall hearing anything about them knowing each other before coming to this school. You probably just imagined it. Monica might cast a spell on you. No, I saw it. I'm telling you. But if it wasn't taken before we got here or after we got here, I bet they're all still alive. They left the school and then took that picture. Is that right? That's impossible, after all. We saw it with our own eyes. They're all dead. Either murdered or executed. And they're not the only ones. Monokuma killed Junko. And then there's... Sayaka, that wasn't an illusion. It was real. I'm sure of it. They all died. There's no way any of them are still alive. So we have to figure out when that picture was taken. <sighs> Monokuma most likely forged it. I can't imagine any other possibility. Forged? Is that all there is to it? <sighs> Stay focused, man. Don't let Monokuma's bullcrap sidetrack you. <laughs> He's right, but more importantly... <laughs> On another topic, there is something that has been bothering me. I would like to discuss that. Okay, oh my... <laughs> Why are you behind Sakura? <laughs> there is also something that's been bothering me which I would like to discuss. What's bothering you, Celeste? Actually. It's about Hina. Huh? What? Me? <laughs> you said your stomach hurt, did you not? But I believe that was a lie. What really happened? Huh? Huh? It varies from person to person, but whenever someone lies, they tend to have a way of showing it. It is called a tell, something that you can't hide, no matter how hard you try. Is that okay? Whenever Hina lies, the tip of her nose gets just a little bit longer. Huh? What? For real? <laughs> Actually, no. Huh? huh? Oh. But your reaction just now confirmed it. You were lying. Hey. Hey, you don't mess with a gambler like the ultimate gambler. They can bluff their asses off. Just saying. Th that's no fair. <laughs> if you're going to lie, at least try to lie convincingly. Hina. Hina, be honest. Were you lying about your stomach ache? Yes. I see. Why? Why would you lie about that? Are you feeling guilty Shut about it. something? Just a no, that's not it at all. But... It's just, I mean, I have a reason for it. A reason? No, 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 no. Yeah, what, what is the truth, Hina? What is the truth? Sorry. To be honest, I didn't have a stomach ache. I did it because even if I came and told you the truth, I thought you wouldn't believe me. The truth? Well... I saw it. Saw what? A ghost. Mm -hmm. A ghost? You mean like that ghost? What do you mean that hey. ghost? Is there more than one ghost? But I mean, ghosts are... What the heck? See, I told you you wouldn't believe me. It's not that I don't believe you, but... Hina. I believe you. No matter what anyone else might say, I will believe whatever you say, no matter what. So, can you tell us exactly what happened? If you really mean that, Sakura, then okay, I'll tell you. So, um... um so, it happened last night. 
I was in bed, but I couldn't get to sleep. I just kept thinking about everything that's happened up until now. I ended up just getting more upset. So to try and cheer myself up, I thought I'd get some donuts. Huh? Donuts again? Honestly. And you ignored the rule regarding nighttime. Sorry. I know, sorry, I feel really bad about that. You know. Anyway, please continue. But... Well, so I left my room and headed for the warehouse. But then I started hearing a strange sound. Well... It was coming from the direction of the bathhouse. So I headed that way. The locker was halfway open, so I took a look inside. And I saw a human shape surrounded by a pale green light. There's no doubt who it was. It was Chihiro. I know, right? No way! G -g 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 ghost! Honestly. It is simply not possible. You must be mistaken. Just as in most cases of paranormal activity, it was born from your weakened mental state. Well, then. then all we have to do is go see for ourselves, right? Let's just go to the bathhouse and see what Hina saw. <sighs> it is a waste of time. Maybe, but there's no harm in it, right? If we don't find anything, that'll be the end of it. What? You're gonna go try to see a ghost? Is that really a good idea? It might put a curse on you. What the heck? You can wait here if you want. Please. I don't want to be alone. Take me with you. Hey. What are you going to do, Celeste? There is nothing to I suppose I have no choice. Hmm. How about you, Mr. Ishimaru? Are you gonna wait here? Oh. I guess that's a yes. It, it was right here. I saw it right here in the dressing room. Uh, um, er, I'm getting goosebumps. Come on, la la. Cthulhu. Tagan. Shut up. What if he actually shows up? Hina. Hina. Where was it you saw Chihiro's ghost? Well, well, I heard a sound and when I opened the locker, I saw a kind of pale outline of Chihiro. Chihiro. Oh my god. Chihiro. Chihiro. Yeah, this isn't awkward at all. Just all boys and girls in the dressing room of a bathhouse. Okay. Um, is this the locker? There was something in here. Oh. Huh? Inside the locker is... A laptop. What's something like that doing here? Hey. I remember seeing this. Oh, that's right. I saw it in the library before. It looks like a laptop. The laptop looks pretty old. It's all covered in dust. So... It's broken. I tried pressing the power button earlier, but nothing happened. It's broken, huh? Too bad. But how'd the laptop get from the library to here? It would seem... And I guess it's in sleep mode, but the power is definitely on. Huh? But I thought it was broken. Hmm. I would bet that Chihiro fixed it. After all, he was known as the ultimate programmer. Then perhaps... More importantly, Hina, you said you saw a green light, yes? Surely you did not mistake the light of the monitor for a ghost. <laughs> I am surprised you are able to dress yourself in the morning. Ah. Oh man, if I had the love's clueless girl's attribute, I would have fallen in love big time just now. I'm so glad I don't have it. Mm. Well, I didn't really expect to find a freaking laptop inside a freaking locker, okay? Hey, come on. It's okay, I mean, anyone can make a mistake like that. Hmm. As a matter of fact, one time I thought I'd spotted a gray alien, but it turned out to be a tadpole. Don't compare what happened to me to one of your stupid delusions. Don't be mean. Don't be mean. I was just trying to make you feel better. Why well, get all depressed forever now? But listen, isn't this really strange? What's this laptop doing in here? In other words, maybe someone hid it here. But if that's the case, we found it pretty easy. Wrong. Whoever put it here, I don't think they were trying to hide it from us. Huh? What do you mean? Hey. Haven't you noticed there's one big difference between this room and all the others? There's a difference. There's no surveillance camera. Yes, it's Precisely. Me. There's no camera in here, which means this is the one spot where the mastermind is blind. Well, to be fair, I mean, if you want to get technical with it, none of the bathrooms are, like... Well, yeah, none of the bathrooms have it either. Uh, do the locker rooms in the... Uh, yeah, yeah, the locker rooms uh, by the pool had surveillance cameras, too, but... 
Yeah, you know, like, Monica, well, he's not trying to spy on people getting naked or anything, because that's kind of illegal. Uh, there's no camera here. Yeah, one spot of Mastermind is blind. So you're saying someone put the laptop here so the Mastermind wouldn't know about it? It's true. And what Hina saw wasn't the ordinary glow of a computer screen. It was the figure of Chihiro shining pale green. Hey. I think it would be best if we investigated this laptop in a little more detail. Okay, well, let's click on it. It's just like Kyoko said, the display isn't on, but the laptop definitely has power. So then. So first of all, we have to wake it up. Right. Start hitting random buttons on the keyboard. And the display instantly began to glow a pale green. There were a bunch of different icons on the desktop. Hey. There, the icon on the far left. What is it? It says, Alter Ego. Hmm. Alter Ego literally means another self, I believe. In the field of artificial intelligence, it is not uncommon to create different aspects of a personality. You can consider it something like a pen name. Makoto. Could you let me see it, Makoto? With that, Kyoko moved between me and the computer. She moved the cursor over the Alter Ego icon, and when she double-clicked it, the screen suddenly went dark. And then a voice spoke to us. Really Master, you're here. Chihiro's face appeared, taking up the entire display. It's a ghost! Buddha and sweet baby Jesus! Save me! Calm down. Calm down, it's not a ghost. What? Huh? Um, then, what is it? Anyway. I'm sure if we just talk to it, we'll find out. Yoko began to type, hands blurring across the keyboard. What are you? And then... I always get so embarrassed introducing myself. Th that voice, the tone, and everything. Mm. It's Chihiro. I knew it. Alter Ego. I've heard about this kind of AI program, but I've never seen one for myself. And yeah, had it not been for the incident with talking to uh, Chihiro to spend free time, we would have got a little foreshadowing about this because Chihiro was mentioning that um, like the father was a like super famous programmer that was working on like some kind of advanced uh, AI program. So yeah, but it was like, it was unable to be completed. So Chihiro was trying to work on it, you know, bit by bit to try and perfect it. So yeah. Oh, and also as for the whole like incident with Chihiro, turns out um, Chihiro is actually considered to be depressed at that stage of the game like for the first two potential well, no no like for the first day of free time events in chapter two Jiro is considered to be depressed so you can't spend free time but usually when a character is depressed you don't get the menu options to say like oh yeah I will spend time with them and then give them a present so I still hold that as being a glitch, but yeah, I wasn't supposed to be able to spend free time with Chihiro at that exact moment of time anyway. But just the first day of chapter two, everything else beyond that, yeah, you can spend time with Chihiro. It's weird. Uh, AI program That's right. is how Chihiro earned his title of ultimate programmer. The AI lives in a computer and by repeating different tasks, it gains knowledge and grows bit by bit. Apparently, Chihiro uses support vector machine and reinforcement learning to develop it. Eventually, he came up with a breakthrough in artificial intelligence design. Support vector machine, reinforcement learning. It's true. To put it simply, it's a learning method for computers. Um, if you want to know more, just Google it, okay? In other words. Well, okay, that's putting it simple. I guess that's just them saying like, this is not an educational game. If you want to learn, Use Google, damn it. All right. But if this AI continues to grow, it'll become more than just a piece of software to help people. Some say that an AI like this might someday replace people. All right, Elon Musk. Mm. And that is why it is called Alter Ego. A fine choice then, I must say. It can create memories, have thoughts, and grow up. The process isn't much different from how humans work. <laughs> if you were to raise your own AI that way, it would make perfect sense to refer to it as your Alter Ego. I see. A second perfect personality that can never forget or grow old. That's what Shihiro created. That's Alter Ego. Kyoko, how do you know so much about this? 
Are you okay with anyway, this? so he fixed the broken laptop and put his own program on there. That is what this means, yes? Then he brought the machine into this dressing room where the mastermind would not be able to see it. <laughs> hmm, but you know, all this about master or whatnot, yes, yes. Hey, <laughs> I believe I'm on fire. Huh? I thought you were only into 2D. <laughs> this is the most excellent 2D possible. Huh? But he's a guy and also a computer program. I feel as if... Oh, that aspect is no problem. I mean... That aspect? Anyway... Anyway, let's talk to him a little more. Yoko typed away rhythmically. How much do you know about what's going on? Master. Master only gave me a general idea. Well. But I do know that things have become very grave. He found himself caught up in this without warning. Kyoko immediately shot out another question. Why are you here? That's right. Are you asking what Master had planned for me? Well, he wanted me to analyze a massive number of files stored on this laptop. I believe the files are related to the school, but the protection on them is surprisingly strong. So it's taken me a little longer than I thought. Master. But here's what Master must have been thinking. The fact that the files are protected so tightly means they must contain some important secret. For example, perhaps the secret of this school. While I was busy struggling to make a sound, Kyoko pushed forward and asked her next question. How much longer until everything's unlocked? That's right. Um, it's gonna be a while. But I'm definitely going to do it, so you can just leave it to me. I see. So because of how long it would take, he designed Alter Ego to handle the workload. <laughs> Smart! It also means that the work remains uninterrupted even after his death. Once again, Kyoko typed quickly. Keep it up. Be careful not to let the mastermind notice you. That's right. Don't worry. I've got a secret plan already, just in case. Actually, I can see what's going on using my built-in webcam, so if anything suspi- Yeah, anyone suspicious shows up, I just scream for help real loud. It's a pretty basic plan, I have to say. Yes, Plus, laptop indeed. speakers, you know, there, there's kind of a limitation on how much sound you can get from them, you know, but I'm <clears throat> just saying. That is fine during the day, but nighttime is a concern. Huh? Why? Are you okay have you forgotten? This? All our rooms are completely soundproof. Once we close our doors, he can scream as loud as he wants, but we won't hear a thing. Okay, then, how about once it's nighttime, we each take turns guarding the dressing room? However, There's a good chance the mastermind would notice us all going in and out of the dressing room like that. Then, what can we do? So then, Once nighttime comes, I'll leave the door to my room open. Then there's no way I can miss Alter Ego yelling. But, but, but if you leave your door open all night, then... It's true. There's a chance I may become a victim myself, I know. However, but I'm not as weak as you may think. I wouldn't go down without a fight, I assure you. There's an undeniable strength in her voice when she said that. She was totally confident she would be okay. That confidence was something similar, oh, somewhat similar to Byakuya's tone, but at the same time, different. Yeah, it had an entirely different feel for sure. Like, someone who'd been dropped onto a battlefield versus someone who'd been born on a battlefield. Felt like that was the fundamental difference. I was pulled out of my thoughts by the voice suddenly emanating from the laptop. Um, would you mind if I asked a few questions? Um, I mean, well, yeah, that's standard fare for an AI. They want to ask questions so they can learn more. And, oh, that's not that kind of question. Okay. I haven't seen Master for a while. When you got here, I thought it was him, but... Is Master... For a split second, Kyoko seemed to not know what to do. But she recovered just as fast and quickly began typing. Her answer was clear, concise, direct. Chihiro is dead. Mondo killed him. Okay, then. I see. To be honest, I knew all along. I knew the chances that Master would survive the situation were very low. So, I was prepared for this moment. <laughs> Somehow I feel kind of so sorry I... for her. Um... I can't even imagine how it must feel to lose your other self. <laughs> it is a simple computer program. It does not have feelings. Uh... Are you sure about that? Shall we go? Anyway, that's enough for today. If we linger here too long, the Mastermind will start to suspect something. And then Kyoko typed one last sentence. I'll come back later. Yes, please do. It's a promise, okay? Bye-bye. The AI seemed totally different from when we first arrived. He seemed upbeat. Was it just because he was following his programming? Or could he have actually been worried about us? Could it be... Um... What's wrong, Hero? You know? Oh, nothing. I was just wondering if we might be able to get this laptop online. 
Then we could call for help from the outside. But this is just a dressing room. I don't think you can get online from here. Well, well, if we dig it out of here and find somewhere that does have online access. I guess this school doesn't have Wi-Fi. Okay. Then that's way too dangerous. The mastermind will find out in no time. Uh, oh, um, yeah. True. Indeed. This is no time for taking needless risks. For now, I'll monitor the progress of the file analysis. I'm confident we'll uncover some kind of clue once it's finished. Hmm. This feels like a detour more than anything else, but I suppose it can't be helped. Of course. Well, for now, all we can do is wait for Alter Ego to finish his work. You know? So, should we get going? It's true. Indeed. <laughs> Goodbye. We'll be back. I promise. Oh. Come on, Hifumi, let's go. I... Uh, okay. And we all left the dressing room. As soon as we were out in the hall, Hina let out a joyful shout. <laughs> Isn't it awesome? I ended up doing something totally awesome, right? And as if he'd been waiting for his cue... <laughs> dun 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 dun! Hina has gained enough experience to level up! What's the matter? So, what was this awesome something? M Monokuma! What the you guys all seem in remarkably good spirits. Did something happen? N no, nothing in particular. <laughs> oh, keeping secrets? No fair, I demand an exclusive interview. Denied, denied, super denied. What the heck? Yeah, just because you demand something doesn't mean we have to do it. Do it? You mean like, do it, do it. Wait, what? What do you mean, do it, do it? Yes. Ew, gross, you said do it. <laughs> Childish. What, you said it first. <laughs> we were just talking about going to the bathhouse. We have not had a chance to relax in some time. Huh? Huh? But unfortunately, the bathhouse is not divided into men and women sections. So we decided to do rock, paper, scissors to decide which group would go first. Hina won the match for us, and that is why we are all so pleased. Huh? Yeah, that's right. Speaking of which... Okay, boys, why don't you head on back to the dining hall or something? We're gonna go take a nice long bath. Hey, uh, jeez, what are you gonna do, right? We lost fair and square. <laughs> well, ladies, shall we go? Celeste didn't hesitate coming up with the ruse, and her poker face didn't even flinch. Ultimate gambler. So she and the other girls headed back into the dressing room. Oh. Uh, um. Damnation! Nuts and damn it! We totally lost! Another day without getting to take my very first bath here. Uh, um. Yeah, but tomorrow for sure. You'll definitely get that bath tomorrow. Okay, so should we head back to the dining hall now? Hold on. Hey, hey. Something strange here. Very strange. Strange? What do you mean? <sighs> What's strange is, this is the perfect chance for you to sneak a peek. Huh? <laughs> That's... You're absolutely right. I thought you were all about the 2D. <laughs> all you need to shut up, sit down, and listen to what I have to say. An opportunity... <laughs> This is so messed up. An opportunity like this doesn't come very often. It's the ideal setting of a man's fantasy. Which is why you needed this present right here. This present is about to activate a special scene. I was forced to ask myself. Should I sneak into the bathhouse like Monokuma said, or just go quietly back to the dining hall? Okay, let's go! If you didn't have the man's fantasy, uh, Makoto would be like, No, that's wrong! Why will we peek on our friends? Like, no guys, let's go back to the dining hall. Monokuma would be disappointed, and so would Hifumi. Uh, Hiro would just go along with it. So yeah, they're about to go. With the man's fantasy burning in my chest, I decided to head back to the bathhouse. Uh -huh. <laughs> Have fun in your man's fantasy. <laughs> Have a special good time. <laughs> what? We opened the door to the dressing room, silenced the depth, and peeked inside. Oh, <laughs> uh, this is messed up on all kinds of levels. <laughs> it looked like the girls had already finished changing and gone into the bathhouse. So it all started as a lie, but apparently they decided to go in for real. Making sure it was empty, we quietly made our way into the dressing room. The Forbidden Land. <laughs> oh my god. But So they really are taking a bath. Is this what Celeste meant about lying convincingly? 
Mm. Mr. Hagakure, please refrain from pointless whispering. We are deep in enemy territory here. <laughs> Just up ahead is the bathhouse, and there awaits a great, dazzling passion. See, if Taka was here, he would have shut this down immediately. Or he would have just stood there in pure silence because he's still depressed. <laughs> Mr. Nayaki, you're on point. Oh my god. For be careful, don't get us caught. If Ogre finds us, we'll be meeting up with Hades in no time. Hades? All of your, like, just everything is meshing together. I mean, Buddha and Jesus and Hades and okay. I place my hand on the door leading into the bathhouse. I open it gently, inch by inch. I maneuver my hand like a master craftsman to avoid making even the slightest sound. A little further, a little further, and then... On the other side of the thick, rising steam, I saw... Why was Toko in there? Why was Toko in there? Okay, uh, because where Toko was trying to chase down Byakia, and then I'm just so utterly disappointed because that confirms that Celeste is wearing a wig. I've been lied to, but all right. <laughs> I'm not sure how to put it, but I always feel refreshed after a job well done. Mm -hmm. A 3D body isn't so bad if it's in, uh, in its nude state, I suppose. Could it be? But still, I just can't believe it. Like, for serious. Ogre's a girl. <laughs> My God. <laughs> God damn it. Was this really okay? No, no, it's kind of illegal, but hey, whatever. Well, I look too, so I guess I'm gonna have to say yes. Meanwhile, we heard the buzzing of busy voices growing louder. The girls had finished their baths and joined us in the dining hall. Had you not do that, uh, they would have just been in here like... Did we make the right decision by not peeking? And then they're like, yeah, we did. And then the girls come back and everything joins back together. Okay. You got it. Ah, man, what a nice bath. This is fine. Getting a chance to stretch out and relax after all this time was a true pleasure. Indeed. Indeed. Of course. Normally, after a long bath, I like to make myself a nice protein coffee, but... <laughs> Sorry, no time for that. So in the end. That's what I figured. Huh? huh? We were just saying in the bath how it's about time for you to get up to something. Because After seeing how happy we were, an evil little monster like you would never let that last for long. Hmm. You're also terrible to me. My <laughs> it was so cold and mean. Even after I got presents for you all. Presents? Well, now, well, hmm. now, well, oh, well, well, have I got your attention? <laughs> then let's head to the gym where your presents await. No questions, no dilly dally, and get a move on, and everything will become clear. What is it? What are you scheming this time? He's probably going to repeat the same thing again, providing us with a motive to get things moving. Huh? Again? I don't want to. I don't want to do this anymore. <sighs> Me either. I'm like totally traumatized. However, it's okay. We have alter ego. I'm sure he'll find something that'll help us. So for now, correct. we have to just endure it, come what may. Okay, this part is going on a little longer than I anticipated because I was kind of Ugh, trying to, you know, continue along with the whole, like, one day per video thing, except when it comes to trials and investigations, but okay. With heavy feet, we made our way to the gym, but when we arrived, there was already someone waiting for us. What? To be kept waiting by the likes of you. Rest assured, if we had access to firearms, you'd all be dead. Biakia, did you get here early? Did you forget how to walk? Is that why you're late? It's simple. Right foot, left foot, right foot. <laughs> the same as always. I see her on the other hand. What the heck? Oh, she's back to her Debbie Downer self, huh? Hmm. I heard what sounded like a sneeze and she was back to her old self. Oh, so she's launched from Dragon Ball, okay. <laughs> so now she goes from manic to depressive whenever she sneezes? Seems kind of late to add that into the mix. Why does everyone keep making fun of me? I hope you all win the lottery and get hit by a bus. Oh. So when you want to say something mean, then you can talk, huh? Well, anyway, it looks like everyone's here. So then, which means it's motive time. I did not time that up properly. Oh well. 
You guys? It looks like everyone's here. So then, let's get started. What? Come on, out with it. What kind of motive have you prepared for us this time? However... Whatever you subject us to, we will not break. Okay. Yeah, that's right, we're not gonna lose to you ever again. Come on! <laughs> you don't have to get so defensive. Calm down. I decided to change things up a bit this time. Up till now, I've been using the whoosh of the north wind to get you all moving. But sometimes you gotta use the sun to light a fire into someone's butt. <laughs> Without further ado, I give you... This! Ten million dollars! Ten million dollars? I prepared this graduation present for whichever lucky student makes it out of here alive! What do you think? It's ten million bucks! Ten million smackaroos! It's like totally wowie wow wow, am I right? And the money pile is right there in the background. So that's the motive you prepared, is it? Ten million dollars is... It's not nearly enough. It's true. When it comes to motives, money certainly is the gold standard, so to speak. Whether it's in a mystery novel or the real world. But... There's no way we kill each other for money. Of course. She's right. You can't simply purchase a person's life. You can say 10 million or however much, I don't give a crap, for serious. Yeah, they're all right. Whether it's 10 million or any other amount of money. No, not even just money. From now on, no matter what you do, we won't kill our friends. <laughs> Come on, stop trying to act tough. The most important thing is to live a pure and moral communal life. Monica would disappear, leaving his words on stage along with a massive sum of money. Um... But there is nothing to worry about, right? No matter what, kill a friend for money, right? Have you so quickly forgotten the lesson from last time? You can't judge others by your own standard. <laughs> yeah, there might be someone here who's having money problems. <laughs> Personally, I've earned over $1 million from my gambling efforts. My life is comfortable. <laughs> hey, Fumi, what about you? I'm a super popular content creator. I don't have any problem making enough to buy my comics and DVDs. <laughs> then, just stop. Pressing others about their personal finances is... ugly. Uh, 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 ugly? <laughs> Don't worry. Either way, whatever's going to happen will happen without warning. That is the nature of this game. Well, we're getting the motive out the way this time. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially nighttime. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Hmm. It's that time already, huh? Hey. Before we separate, let me remind you. Starting tonight, I'll be leaving my room door open to make sure nothing happens to alter ego. But just because my door is open, don't assume that will make me an easy target. Because... Or the predator may suddenly find itself the prey. Her voice was calm and composed, but it was clear she meant what she said. You know? Okay, okay, let's everyone head back to our rooms. How about that? And don't think about the whole money thing, got it? Good, then let's break! Hmm. How was that? Pretty good, right, Taka? Right. As soon as I was back in my room, I crawled into bed. Money. There's no way that's going to get anyone to kill anyone else. I told myself that, but deep in my heart, I was still troubled. After all, I thought the same thing last time about having our secrets revealed. Even if the reason for it seems completely nonsensical, a murder can still happen. That's the lesson we learned. But this time... This time it's different. I'm sure of it. Because of the program Shiro left behind, Alter Ego. We finally have some small hope to grasp onto. As long as we have that, then I'm sure. It's time for Monokuma Theater! It's getting added today. Ooh, a doll. Okay. Ahem. Little kids have it so easy. Because they can put little in front of their name, and right off the bat, everyone thinks they're cute. 
Well, fine then. I wouldn't run the start calling me Lil Monokuma. See? Just by adding that, my cuteness goes up by at least, like, 10%, right? Yeah. The world doesn't have nearly enough Lils. More Lils would lead to the salvation of the world. But then that would mean more Lil Wayne's, and I, I, I can't live in such a world. I'm, I'm sorry. Just imagine. Lil Arsonist. Lil War Criminal. Lil Destruction of the Environment. Lil Hit and Run. <laughs> Lil Hit and Run. Okay. <laughs> that one gets me. Lil Death Tax. Lil Great Depression. <laughs> How's it a little great? Even the darkest subject can suddenly become brighter. He has Our a point. Dreams are expanding. Ding, ding. Hmm. Lil Murder. That's gonna be my new rap name. <laughs> Look out for that mixtape. Good morning, everyone. It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine. Get ready to greet another beautiful day. Well then, I guess I should head to the dining hall. Where nothing happened, right? Surely, surely nobody committed murder for 10 million dollars. You'll find out next time in Let's Play Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. Goodbye.